Well, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, I got to break it to you. Santa, Santa Claus doesn't um, live at the North Pole any year. Times have changed, people. And to be quite honest, uh, Santa lives in the tropics most of the year. Everything's automated now. I can keep up with things with computer. My elves have got it down to a science. And to be quite frank, when uh, Santa Claus went vegan and lost that big belly that used to shake like a bowl full of jelly, the North Pole was just too cold for him. It was too cold for me. It was too, too cold for anybody that eats like this. You know, I used to rock the old ways, and that's how you knew the big old fat Santa. And uh, the big old fat Santa was on his way to an early grave, which would have meant no toys for all the girls and boys. So Santa stopped eating animal products a few years ago. At first he did it for his health, so he would be around for you people for a long time. But then he understood it was the right thing for the animals. And he understood that that meal that everybody had after he came and visited and left all of these delightful presents and toys for them was dead carcasses on their tables. How were they thanking Santa? They were thanking him by having these rotten dead carcasses on their table. And they were feeding them to their kids and their kids didn't know that these things, they have no connection at that age. The kids didn't know that these were animals on the table. They just thought it was meat that you got at the grocery store. They didn't realize that these animals had lived in torture the whole of their life. When Santa had that revelation, everything changed. Santa started eating right. Santa lost the weight. Santa became concerned about the animals and the environment. And Santa's a much happier camper these days. Now Santa did one thing when he went vegan that actually surprised him a little bit. When, he, when I went vegan, I decided to liberate the reindeer because, you know, I was like, well, gosh, I can't be an oppressor. Um, I've got to liberate these reindeer. We can't be doing this. They're not subservient. So I informed the reindeer, you're free. You know, go live your lives. Do what you got to do. Santa's very happy with you, and he's happy for you to be free. And they just looked at me puzzled, and they were like, Santa, we're as much a part of the show as you are. You ain't kicking us to the curb. We're magic. It don't take any um, strength. It doesn't take anything for us to pull that sled. So don't you even think you're getting rid of the reindeer. So the reindeer still pull the sled because people like reindeer. They like to hear that little patter, bitter patter on the roof. So it's about that time. What, what, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, Santa's supposed to know this. This is my, my time of the year. Actually, don't tell anybody, but this is the only time of the year that I really work a little bit. I just go, you know, I go do the show. I've got people working for me now. The elves work for me. Um, even Mrs. Claus, she, um, she does so much stuff. She, she handles the website and she keeps all the requests under order. Oh, Santa just really, they just pull me out, you know, um, for a couple of days. To do what I do. So the rest of the year I can kick it down here in Costa Rica or I can go somewhere else where it's warm and hang out in the sun, get a little bit of tan. Um, but there are preparations that need to be made. I need to go see if the suits, you know, the suits been in moth and um, what did I do with the suit this? Oh, I left it at that dry cleaner in, in Antarctica. Dry cleaner in Antarctica. I bet you've never heard of that. But yeah, I've got to just make a few stops. I've got to get prepared for the big night. Um, oh, and by the way, on the big night, as of this, you know, since I had never really officially went vegan, I still get cookies and milk sometime. I don't, I don't drink from a cow, folks. I'm not a cow. I mean, if you can tell, Santa don't look anything like a cow, so I don't drink from a cow. Um, I always can use some fruit some carbs to keep me going because that's a pretty long ride. You guys realize I go all the way around the world? So you got to give me something, some, you got to give Santa something to keep him uh, energetic. Hell, I can eat what you leave out for the reindeer. Leave them some carrots, leave me some carrots. But if you want to leave me something a little bit more traditional, um, you know, uh, look into the internet. This thing, this wonderful thing that's given Santa this life that he lives. Make me some bliss balls. You can make raw vegan bliss balls for Santa. 
And if you want to leave me a glass of milk, because everybody loves tradition, you want to leave me a glass of milk, I would love a glass of almond milk after I come down that chimney. Or I would love, if you got some coconuts, I'd love some fresh coconut milk. But anyhow, Santa always travels with snacks, so I'll have my own on that night. It's going to be a long two weeks without this because, yeah, Santa's going to do his do. He's going to do a few things for the new year. And then I'm back to the tropics. Because um, Santa's gotten used to this stuff and uh, it's just not, there's no going back once you get a hold of all this fruit. But anyhow, Hope all you guys out there have been nice this year. Because Santa keeps an eye on the internet too. Don't think Santa's not watching the internet. Don't think Santa doesn't see the nasty comments that are made out there. Don't think Santa doesn't notice the small things that people do for other people. Santa likes to see you be kind to each other. That's the way we're supposed to live. That's the way we're supposed to roll. So. You still got a little bit of time. If you're on the fence, if you think you're on the fence about uh, what Santa gonna bring you, or am I gonna get something good, or have I been bad? I don't know, show me what you got over the next week. Show me you can be good, show me you can do something. Uh, you got a couple of shopping weekend, or no, you got one shopping weekend until Christmas. Go ahead and do something nice for somebody. Feed a strange family for Christmas. Well, buy, just buy a Christmas present for a kid that ain't going to have a Christmas, you know, donate a toy somewhere. Spend time with your own family and enjoy the holidays because I'm a very fun tradition. You know, Christmas without Santa Claus just wouldn't be quite the same. But I want you to remember the importance isn't in the, the things, the presents, the gifts that I bring you or that other people give you. The real magic, the real Christmas spirit is in your own house, man. It's just about spending time with the people you love, about appreciating the people you love, being together with the people you love. It's all simple, man. You know, people stress out this time of year. Santa watches all this stuff and I... I just don't even understand it. People just don't get it. People run around, they stress, they worry over the Christmas dinner, they worry over the perfect present, they worry over this, they worry over that. It's all about the love, people. It's all about the love. Anyhow, I'm going to eat myself a little fruit for dinner, get a good night's sleep, then I'm out tomorrow. I don't know, I should hit the, I'm going to take my time on the way up. I don't like to rush anywhere I go. Santa likes to slow roll. So I'm going to slowly make my way to the North Pole. I'll probably get to the, I'm going to probably, I'm looking to make it to the North Pole maybe by Friday or so, Friday or Saturday. That still gives me, that gives me plenty of time before the big day. I get there Friday or Saturday. I get to hang, kick it with the elves for a little while. I think we're going to do a fruit luck. Because a lot of the elves have converted to this lifestyle too. Spend a little time with them. Spend a little time with friends up in that area. And then it'll be time for the big show. And I will do my rounds all around the world. With my reindeer who don't mind pulling the sleigh. Because they're magic. It's kind of like Superman flying. It don't take no effort for Superman to fly the reindeer. They're like that. But anyhow, I hope all of you have been good. I hope all of you will be good to each other the rest of this holiday season. And all I can say is ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas.